What's going on, everyone? So Christopher is a big mystery when you talk about from the TV series, right? Because first off, where is he? What happened to him? Um, we were led to believe that he was responsible for this big massacre of all the people in the town. And when we get the flashback sequence, doesn't look like he's the one that did that. Looks like it was all the monsters. It looks like the monsters were the ones that did that. Now, do we find out that Christopher was responsible for the monsters? Could Christopher have unleashed uh, the monsters in some capacity? That's a very big possibility. Could Christopher have been the first monster the town has ever seen? Right? Because they all started as human, right? According to Christy, when she did the autopsy. And then also we had the, the one monster... Um, that manipulated one of the, the townspeople when the colony house got attacked, right? She said, like, I didn't choose to be like this. I just became like this, right? So, like, what if Christopher actually was turned into a monster? Like, that's a possibility. There's so many different ways and angles that they could go. What if Christopher is still a monster and he still is out there, right? So, you look at, like, season one, right, with Julie, right? When Julie said, oh, you don't remember me? Right? And they knew the names and all that stuff, right? Well, we've never seen those group of monsters since. So is it possible that they have just not been shown, right? And what if Christopher really is out there somewhere? Because you might be asking, okay, well, if that was the case, then how come no one knows it's Christopher? Well, the only person that would know who Christopher is, is Victor. And Victor has completely tuned out and blocked himself from remembering Christopher. I mean, the flashbacks of the person we see that is Christopher, we don't even know if that's really what Christopher looks like. We're trusting Victor's memory on a guy that he doesn't even really remember. And again, the evidence we've seen thus far show that Victor has been wrong about Christopher, which is concerning in and of itself as well. Because again, like, supposedly Christopher went on this massacre and killed all these people. And based on the most recent flashback we got of what Victor relayed was everybody tore up by monsters, which leads you to believe that either A, he unleashed the monsters or he became the first monster. But also, where is Christopher, right? So one, the most recent flashbacks, we see him talking to Jasper. And that's the mission that now we see Victor is on. And we got the little look-ahead teaser trailer, and in that little look-ahead teaser trailer, uh, you see Victor and Henry, his father, going to retrieve Jasper. And you see that Jasper has a life of his own, and is talking to Christopher, and that was the memento that Victor needed to kind of unlock the memories of uh, Christopher. Hopefully, when he finally gets Jasper, that kind of opens the door and we get some more insight, we get some more information, we get some more details on what Christopher could potentially be, what happened to Christopher, how did it happen, all of that, right? But also, it looks like he's down in, like, the, the cellar, right? Um, you know, maybe even the cellar, is it the cellar of the, um, you know, the diner? right? Is that kind of something? Or are they in one of the houses? Is that the cellar down in Colony House? Um, is it the cellar in which uh, we saw Sarah locked up in? Uh, is this the tunnels at one point? Because you got to think, he was around a long time ago. So hopefully you find out where his domicile was. And with Jasper, um, will they be able to even get Jasper to speak and talk, right? Is that even really a thing? Or was that just simply in like Victor's head, right? Maybe Jasper talking back was just Victor's way of, of registering and understanding what exactly what happened, right? Rather than, you know, kind of just kind of putting in memories added to, to a memory that you have rather than just seeing Christopher talking to himself or talking to the doll and the doll not talking back. You know, maybe he saw it talking back. But the whole point was that Christopher was losing his mind, that Christopher kind of became this space cadet, that he went from being, you know, this, this nice, sweet, funny, kind person that just 
was trying to make the most of the situation that he was in, became obsessed with the symbol, just like Jade has become, and it corrupted him, and it changed him, and it turned him into this, this different person. He no longer wanted to smile anymore, and he kind of became dark, really corrupted him in a, in a dark manner. And, but like, Kim, where, where did he end up? And like I said, I'm sure we're going to get that answer sooner rather than later, but like, is he still alive? So, Jasper is in the tunnels. It's the whole reason why they're going there. So, somehow, some way, Jasper ended up in the tunnels. Either A, like I said, this setup where, where he was living maybe was the tunnels. At some point, they were all hiding from monsters in the tunnels. So maybe the monsters were around back then, and you know, that, that was the case. And he just made a home out of the tunnels somewhere. And you even see in like the little look ahead trailer, uh, what appears to be like a setup, like a table setup. Um, maybe that's Christopher, right? Maybe that that's something. Maybe Victor runs into Christopher or sees Christopher uh, in the tunnels. That could be interesting. Um, but even if he didn't live in the tunnels, maybe after the massacre, that's where he ended up, right? And that's where Christopher ended up leading himself to and was living in the tunnels. Maybe he's still living in the tunnels, right? Like, I mean, you got to imagine he'd be probably in 80 or something like that, but it doesn't mean, one, that he's not alive, and two, what if Frumville's keeping him alive? I mean, they, you know, every time I, like, go, like, oh, yeah, well, maybe maybe he is alive still. And people be like, oh, if he's 80, you know, he's 90 years old, he should have died. Like, so we have a, an entire show based on supernatural, the mysteries and things that are impossible, but for, you know, age, we're going to not use, we're going to have to use logic, right? Like it's an entire show based on illogical things. And, you know, we're going to have to use logic. So again, like I can't rule anything out as to whether this could be a thing or not to whether, you know, Christopher could potentially still be alive in the, in the tunnel somewhere. Um, you know, it, could, could he be, what if he's the thing running around, uh, the, the campsite, right? Like there is a million ways that you can kind of go about Christopher and this whole Jasper thing. And, and I hope we get some insight. I hope we get some actual honest stories, right? I hope it's not, my concern is that it's going to kind of continue to be this kind of left in the air type thing with him. I, cause it's almost like the story keeps changing with Christopher. I mean, the consensus is that like he just snapped, lost his mind and be, you know, became a monster. Right. Is it in like the, the literal sense or is it just figuratively as like, he just became, he just changed. He became evil, not smiling anymore, all of that. Um, and again, you're trusting Victor's memories and you're trusting that Victor's memories are accurate for something that he completely doesn't remember and suppressed. How does he know? How do we know that those memories aren't even put in by Frumville? I don't know. Frumville hasn't manipulated Victor's thoughts and memories and whatnot. Like that could be a possibility, right? Point is, something happened to Christopher. Whatever that is, something happened to Christopher. Whether he ended up in in the tunnels, uh, whether he ended up dead. Right. I mean, it, it could be just as straightforward as that. Right. Like it could just be like as simple as like, oh, no, Victor died. Right. Maybe the monsters did come for the first time and killed everyone but Victor and then or killed everyone but Christopher. Sorry. And then, you know, finally took Christopher out at the end. Or maybe they dragged Christopher to the tunnels and Christopher was holding uh, the, you know, Jasper while that was happening and ended up, you know, uh, in the tunnels for who knows how long, right? Like, cause also you got to imagine like if he was, if he was out, if he was alive, wouldn't he have gone out at some point, right? Or encountered Victor. However, you could argue like, what's the point? One, he may have thought everyone was dead, including Victor. Two, even if he did think like maybe he wanted to stay away from Victor, not to harm Victor, not to hurt Victor, right? Like, I'm very curious to see how this Christopher thing plays out. Right? I hope it's not underwhelming. <laughs> right? I hope it's not something that's like, oh man, that's 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 how we're doing this. Um 
Because I do. I think it's an interesting story plot. I think it's something that could make some real sense. And we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that all plays out. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. And I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Um, what do you think happened to Christopher? Right? What do you think that the end result is going to be? I mean, hopefully we find out in the next episode. I wouldn't be shocked if we don't really find out till the, the following episode. with Episode 7. Um... But it would be nice to kind of get some insight or at least give us some of the Christopher story. Give us something to talk about and speculate and dive into. But you got to, again, you got to imagine that that Christopher somewhere or something happened to him um, in which, you know, we'll, we'll get some insight and hopefully an interesting story and setup in that regard. Um, but what do you think happened to Christopher? What do you want to see happen to Christopher? Do you have like a specific idea in mind that you want to see happen? Do you want to? Maybe he potentially became a monster or was eaten by monsters or whatever. Um, again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. We enjoy these types of videos and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one.